Come on, Gelrude. What you got, man? Boom. Match it. 20. You gotta match it, Gelrude. Oh, tough luck, Gelrude. You did well in our last match. I know I did, Gelrude. And our 20 plus matches, I did well. And I'll see you later. If you're ever looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, guys. I've been dueling Gelrude like 20 times. The fun thing about Gelrude, fun fun fact, guys, okay? It's time for a fun fact with your boy Rage. Gelrude here, uh, wait, why am I, wait, why is my head doing that, right? What, what am I, what am I looking at? What am I, what? Anyway, Gelrude here does not have a max amount of times that you can duel him, which means you could just indefinitely play him over and over and over again. And so I've been playing him quite a few times and we managed to build quite a beastly deck, guys. See, I'd win money from Gelrude and then buy the cards from Araya here. And let me just bring it up on the screen for you really quick. These were all the cards we were able to buy from Araya. I got two plus ones, minus ones, two plus six, minus sixes, a plus three, minus three, and the rest are all minus cards. Two minus fours and three minus twos. The minus cards seem to come in handy a lot more than the straight up plus cards. In fact, I would wager to say the plus cards are almost completely useless. But yeah, that's the new deck, guys. It's pretty beastly. So, and on top of all that money that we needed to buy the cards, we also now have 372 credits. So, thanks a ton, Gelrude. Really appreciate it. And now let's go get even more money from Zax. It's time to collect on those bounties from the last episode. What's up, Zaxy Poo? How you doing, dude? Back again, big boy. Uh, yeah, I, I got a few bounties to collect on, Zax. A bounty? Well, human, that's what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Lie, tell him Matrix is dead. Oh dear. Hope this works. So, you know that guy, Matrix? Took care of him. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion, and some of my people saw you buying the Perimicrete Detonator. Wait, what? It's good Matrix dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time, use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. 300 credits, that's it? Well, hold up. One of his people saw me buying the Primacrete Detonator? That's kind of creepy. I mean, r right there in, in Kebley's shop, somebody was watching? A chuta. That's a little shady, guys. I don't know. But listen here, Zax. I want 400 credits for this job. You're brave, human, to bargain with a hut. But I like you. Okay, 400 it is. <laughs> you do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy fat fucks. Jesus. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Happy doing business with you, Zax. And guess what? I got one more bounty. Oh, another bounty, you say? Oh. You remember that guy, Largo? Took care of him, too. Largo should have known better than to run. Maybe now people will learn the lesson. You owe Davik money, you pay. Here, 300 credits. That's the price of all bounties. Now, Zax, if I wanted 400 for the last job, what makes you think that I'm not going to want 400 for this job, big boy? Come on now. All right, fine, here you go, 400 again. But only because I think you're so goddamn sexy, human. Bring that ass over here. Guys, I'm starting to think I might have to get a restraining order against Zax or something. I don't know. But let's go, man. That's going to be 800 credits altogether. All righty, then. I guess that's it for bounty hunting, at least for now, guys. I'll talk to you later, Zax. Catch you later, sweet cheeks. All right, 800 credits. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Karth. I mean, damn, we're, we're loaded with money now, boy. 1,172 credits. Whoo! Wait, what's going on over here? Hello? Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Huh, what's the use? 
There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Oh, oh, calm down, lady. Auditioning? Dancing? What exactly are you talking about? That Twilight over there is Bib Skrull, the manager and talent scout for the Starlight Entertainers. They're one of the biggest performing tropes in the quadrant. When I heard he was on Terrace, I figured it was my lucky break. If I can impress him, he might hire me as a dancer, and I can finally get off this slime pit of a world. Damn! But I don't have a partner, and the Starlight Entertainers never perform solo. If he can't judge how I dance with someone else, I'm sunk. Hmm, seems like she's in quite the pickle there. Well, why don't you have a partner? Kipuna! My last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me. Oh dear. Even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I ditched him after less than a week. It sounds like your more recent partner was kind of your fault, but uh, maybe I could be your partner. This sounds like it might be kind of fun. I admit I am getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? Hey, listen, you see that big sexy man back there? You, you see him? He is an expert dancer. He's got the dance moves, and I've been taking some private lessons from him, okay? Karth's been showing me the moves, boys. So I can dance, all right? I mean, how hard could it be? You think this is easy? I've trained for years to develop my talents. Dancing isn't wiggling your butt in the air, you know. Well, except for the Carillion Cheek Step. The Carillion Cheek Step, let's go. If you think you can just step up and start dancing at a professional level, you better think again. Oh my goodness, listen, I'm good enough to get you through your audition at least. Well, you do have that certain look about you. A confidence of movement. Huh, I guess you'll have to do. I'm warning you. Don't screw this up. Goddamn, lady, relax. Mr. Cerule, I've got a partner now. I'd really like to audition for you again. Okay, Rin. You got a one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up. Then let's see what you've got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, I've got time to watch you for three more dances. Make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our steps and the closer we dance, the more it will impress Bib. But don't get too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping me up. Try not to screw this up for me, okay? Okay, I got this, I got this. So let's join her by dancing very close beside her. I mean, she said the closer and the more complicated, the better. But I don't know if I'm confident enough to do number three. So let's just do number two. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm, see, I learned this from Karth, baby. Mm. Very nicely. You know, your partner isn't a too bad for an amateur. Well, thank you. Okay, let's see what else you have got. Okay, we're off to a good start. Like Bib said, you're not bad for an amateur. The next dance is a little different, so watch for the pickups and follow my lead. All right, I got this. I'm feeling good, boys. Oh, damn, she's got the old choo-choo going. Okay, I know that move. Let's join her by dancing close behind her. Mmm, <laughs> you like that, don't you? Mm. <clears throat> I, I mean, yeah, we're just, we're just dancing, just dancing, baby, that's all. Choo choo, yeah, oh, that's right. Ooh, good. One, two, three, one, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Lin. Okay, one more dance to go. Okay, one dance to go. Bib looks happy. As long as we don't screw up, I think we've got it. Follow me, and please just keep it simple. Okay, keep it simple. Got it. Keep it simple. These aren't the droids you're looking for. All 
All right, we'll just join her by dancing beside her. Nice and simple. Here we go. Ooh, that's the Jedi mind trick, boys. Oh yeah. You know what, Karth, why don't you get your ass in here, dude? Come on, tag in. There you go, there's the moves, Karth. Show them how it's done. That's it. All right, let me back in, Karth. Oh yeah, mmm, mmm. Ooh, is it getting hot in here? Is it getting hot in here? I think it's getting hot in here. Oh, mmm, oh yeah, oh yeah, mmm. Look, good, looking, very good. Feel the music. Let it flow through you. Oh, it's flowing through me, Bib. It's flowing. Well, what do you think? Did I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one if you want. Relax, Lin. You made it. You got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. Nice. I made it? I really made it? This is incredible! I I don't believe it! Believe it, kid! You're in! Now we need to get you fitted for your outfits! We need to start rehearsals! You've got contracts to sign! Let's go! Busy, busy, busy! That's the life of a star! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you! Oh god, Lynn, I'm gonna cry! Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'd give you a big hug, but... Well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. What? Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. But if you're ever traveling the galaxy and you see the Starlight Entertainers performing, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. What? What? Well, thanks, I guess, but geez, the gratitude of some people. You know, I, I kind of want to be in the Starlight Entertainers. I, th I could I could probably do it, right, Karth? A little beneath her now. You can believe that shit. Hey, you know what? Speaking of you, Karth, you, you got to do a level up, my dude. What's going on with that? All right, let's level up, Karth. So what you got, man? You got repair, security, treat injury, awareness. Hmm. We, we could just get up his treat injury a little bit. That way he'll be able to heal more with med packs. And he's got feats. Let's see. Toughness, definitely. Everyone should always get toughness, guys. It's it's just so good. Let's see, 55 health, and now he's got 60. Awesome. All right, sure. Carthy. Well, what else is there to do, man? I mean, we did quite a bit of bounties. Really, we should be looking for Bastila right now, but I don't know where that elevator to the Undercity is. We gotta figure that out. You know, we haven't really been in this room yet. Wait a second. What the hell is that thing? What the fuck? Okay, I've seen some aliens in my day, okay, guys? But I've never seen anything half this hideous. What in the world? Does it speak? Yes. Yes, I have come to stare. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sorry. I do think you're strange. You're a freak of nature. Oh. <laughs> he said the pinnacle of evolution. He's like, you may not like it, human, but this is what peak alien performance looks like. <laughs> He's like, this is the exceptional alien body right here. Yeah, it must be rough for this guy being on Terrace. I mean, people are hating on the humanoid-looking aliens. Imagine how bad people would hate on this dude. Yeah, you better not go into the upper city, dude. You would, you probably wouldn't last two seconds. Children would be chasing you through the streets in a matter of seconds. And oh God, if Gordon Kolu got a hold of this guy, whoo, it'd be over. Anyway, can I ask you some questions, bud? Ciao, basso. So what kind of creature are you exactly? Pere dog. Is that how you say it? Our one voiced tongue, huh? Can you tell me about your home world? Oh, I understand. But what's the name of the planet? Sorgos. That's very interesting that 
In their language, only four ears and two mouths can make the true sound. <laughs> that is a very interesting concept. So what do you know of Terra? You, you, you liking it here? I'm, I'm guessing not. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Not a good place to be at all, my man. You know, I noticed your other head doesn't say all that much. <laughs> that is so interesting. I, you know what? At first, I was a little disgusted, but I am extremely fascinated by this creature now. Well, thanks for your time, buddy. I'll be going. Jeez, kind of a shame for it. All right, Karth. Well, I guess let's head back out into the street and see if we can't figure out where to go next. See you later, Gelrude, you dirty cheater. <laughs> oh, I gave him a taste of his own medicine. Like, I'm telling you guys, save scumming is how Gelrude does it, dude. At least when he was in the Upper City Cantina. What's this? The Hidden Beck base? Wait, you mean their base is just right here? Hey, lady. Hey, Whoa. you can't just walk in here. This is the Hidden Beck base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thack? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what's going on? I hear blasters. Listen, lady, I'm not a spy, all right? Maybe so. But this jewel is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gavin or the hidden backs. Whatever, I'll be going. Fair enough. But here's some free advice. Get off the street. The Black Vulcans are taking shots at anyone wandering the streets of the lower city. Yeah, I think I hear some shots going on right now. A hidden back scout. Oh, he's fighting some Vulcans. Come on, Karth, let's help him out. Oh, I missed. Get in there, car. Got him. You all right, buddy? He doesn't have much to say. Holy crap, just battles and gang wars going on out in the streets, guys. It is not safe. Oh, no. What's going on over here now? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Tunipudu! Rana no prata dung no sercha! Ichua penki! Watana wama mulira! Ketu pashak! Nova puli muli raji! Juni tun! Turji chiwi itado! Bola una dichek! Bala muri slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Damn. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Oh shit. The loan shark over there, boys. Dude, they were they were afraid at the mere sight of this guy. Candorus Ordo. What's, what's up, buddy? Oh no, this this could be another Callow Nord, guys. But whatever, I'll, I'll take the risk. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Huh. Gadon keeps his hidden becks in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Huh. So who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. Oh. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay. I guess we don't want to mess with that guy. Yet another one to add to the list. Huh. What's up? Brezik is nothing but a punk. Oh. I don't know why those Volkers follow him. Gadden's ten times the man he is. Jeez. Oh, speaking of Volkers, here's some more of them over here. Looks like it could be a problem, Karth. I'm equipping my shield. 
All right, I got the shield on, Karth, so I'm gonna head in, throw a grenade. You you back me up, all right, Karth? Back me up, boy. Here we go. Granada! Hit him, Karth. We'll power yes. blast him. <laughs> what? How did we both miss our power blasts? Wait, swap targets, Karth. We gotta get rid of him. Ready. Let's go! Oh, oh nice, the hidden back scout's helping. Thanks, buddy. Nice. Again, I, I'm not too fond of any gangs, but at least these hidden back scouts are helping us out on the streets. Okay, what's going on over here? A Sith. This might be the elevator. All right, Karth, let's get on our disguises. This might be our chance to get into the Undercity. All right, let's do this. Just act natural, Karth. I got this as usual. Hold on, where do you think you're going? This area is restricted to Undercity patrols. Without the proper security papers, I can't let you pass. Wait, what? I, uh, forgot my security papers back at the base. Yeah, that's it. I don't know how they do things in the upper city, but down here, we follow our orders to the letter. Without your security papers, I can't let you pass. So just march on back to the base, talk to your commanding officer, and tell him you need the security papers. Otherwise, you ain't getting down. Oh, shit. The Sith Guard in the lower city refuses to let you into the Undercity without the proper authorization. You'll have to get your hands on some type of pass or papers if you want to explore the Undercity for signs of Basila's escape pod. Well, goddamn! How the frick are we supposed to get our hands on that? Well, we gotta bust into the military base or something? Oh my god, we are at a complete standstill now, guys. This isn't good. Get back into my normal gear here. Okay, that's better. The guard's like, wait a second, what the hell? <laughs> like, oh, let's get out of here, cars. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We're gonna have to figure out what to do, but I think that's gonna wrap up this episode of Let's Play Kotar, guys. More lower city apartments? Okay, yeah, we should definitely check this out. We'll check out this apartment complex in the next one, guys. We'll probably find more goodies in there. Ho, ho, ho. And yeah, eventually we'll try to figure out a way to get some security papers, I guess. No idea, guys. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Let's Play Kotar. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. And until the next one, we'll catch you later. Peace out, Box Bros.